Hey, everybody, and welcome once again to Intentional Talk presented to you by Toro. It's Millar, it's Rose, and look who's joining us for the first time since the breakout of the pandemic. It's the three-time All-Star. It's our brother, Sean Casey, who's doing something. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go, Rosie. Thank you. Hey, don't be too cool for us. Don't be too cool for us. You can do the wave. No, no, no. It, yeah. I felt like Kevin James and Hitch, though. I, I, <laughs> that was rough. So, bro, what, what have you been doing? Did you, like, build a, a, a backyard wrestling ring or something over the last few months to keep yourself busy? You know what? I had to watch a wrestling, which is – because I guess wrestling is a, is a you know, a must because it's still on air. And my kids are like, now we know, Dad, that you're really a loser because you watch wrestling and there's no fans, you know, watching it. I'm like, listen, kids, buckle up and saddle up with Dad and watch wrestling because it's off. So, no doubt about it. I haven't been doing anything. No, it's, it's like all of us, uh, Shawnee, and, and you're a father. And I want to break down something that went on to me, you know, yesterday with my kids. I got four. You got a bunch of kids. I think you got three to five. I'm not sure how many. Four. four. Yeah, but I was adding another one just somewhere like in Pittsburgh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Uh, but I want to tell you something. I had my boys take two jet skis down to our neighbors about a mile down the lake. And I couldn't go because I had surgery. So I said, do not move these jet skis. They disobeyed me. Two hours later, they moved the jet skis. I said, get your butts home immediately. You're grounded and you're done. Took away the phone, took away the Fortnite. And then yesterday morning, I said, you want to make a deal? Let's make a deal. You shave your head. You let me go two guard. I'll give you back the stuff. Well, guess what? Here's the picture, Shawnee. They went two guard. And Cash and Canyon think they look like newborn children. Have you ever gone through something like this? <laughs> so great, dude. Cash and Canyon, good for them, bro. Stepping up and just uh, one up and dad saying, we'll do the two guard and get everything back that we need. Yes, I love it. I've never done anything. I, I probably have if I think about it, done something like that. I one time, uh, I probably shouldn't say this, but maybe I will. I, I, uh, I one time when my kid was younger, I, Andrew, who's 18 now, he's 6'5", he, he could beat the crap out of me probably. Yeah. But one time he was like, Dad, can I have a cookie? I'm like, no, you can't have a cookie. Dad, can I have a cookie? I'm like, no, you can't have a cookie. And he was like, he kept getting on me. So I gave him a cat treat. And, uh, and, and, <laughs> and he was like, oh, this, this is terrible. And, my, and Mandy, you know, my, my wife, she wanted to kill me. Like, she was like, you're a bully. You're, you're, and I'm like, I was just kidding around. I thought it was funny. He wanted an Oreo. I gave him a, I gave him a pound. Cat treat. That, he hates not cookies. A big deal. He hates he cookies loves, now. <laughs> he does. No more cookies for Andrew. He doesn't like them. <laughs> he had, it had quite a profound effect on him because now when he goes to the bathroom, he goes to a litter box. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. Yes. Hello. Nice work. Ooh. Holy smoke. Speaking of hair, what do you have going? You got like the reverse skunk thing. It's, it's white on the sides and black on top. I'm just letting the gray go, you know, God, it's like just whatever, you know, it's quarantine hairdo, you know, a little, little bit there, you know, I just letting it rip and my buddy Lee the other day tightened me up on the, you know, on the top, you know, mask and all, you know, N95 and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm, uh, I look good guys. Thank you. All Appreciate right. Well, speak, speaking of interesting looking hair, uh, do you know how old the guy is next to Poppy in this photo? <laughs> <laughs> is that Manny? Yeah. He looks like he's 78 years old, and he looks like he was on the Sanford and Son back in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, would you believe that Manny turns 48 tomorrow? Wow. 48. Really? Yeah. Not no. 78. No, I would have thought 55. Honest to God. That, I mean, honest to God, if you say, how old is Manny? I would have said 55 years old, Chris. What would you have guessed, <laughs> seriously, if you didn't know? I would have said 50, 53, no doubt, 100%. Stop. No doubt about it. Stop. All right, Case, you're, one of the, you're arguably the best storyteller we've got at the network. So maybe you can fill us in on what happened during this photo. Oh, man. <laughs> Over, you guys sir. Want to hear that story? Yeah, what happened? Oh, man. Rosie, you've heard this. I don't know. If you, I think you've heard this story before, but I'll, I'll, tell this, I'll tell the intentional talk version. It's a little quicker than the version I would usually tell when I got a nice audience. I, when I was in, in 1998, um, I went on story time. This is a few, this is a few weeks ago when, when COVID-19 first started. But um, I, I, in 98 at spring training, I was, uh, you know, behind Jim Tomey. So I'm like, I got no shot to make the club because I got Jim Tomey and Richie Sexton as the number one prospect in baseball. And here I am, I run like this, you know, I'm like, there's no shot of me making this club, right? So I'm like, 
I got to do something to impress Mike Harger with the time to manage it. So I go out early one time and, and I'm like, okay, here we go. You know, it's, it, I, I got to impress Mike Hargrove because obviously I got two big dogs ahead of me. So I go out there, Tori Lovello is out there, who's now the manager of the Diamondbacks, and Hargrove. And okay, Bob Feller, the greatest, maybe the greatest American hero of all time, he throws catch every day in, in front of the dugout, right? And like, and when he comes out, the place goes nuts. Like 7,000 full house winter haven. They're like, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the greatest American hero of all time, Bob Feller, and not only the greatest American hero, the greatest pitcher of all time. Guy threw like 105 miles an hour. So he was like 75 at the time. He come out full uni, spikes high, everything, you know, tipping his cap. And Mike Hargrove's like, hey, Case, why don't you throw catch a Bob Feller? And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, myself, 23-year-old Sean Case, he goes, I got two hits in the big leagues, and if I play catch a Bob Feller, that's three stories I could tell for the rest of my life. So I'm like, here we go, baby. So I go out there. I, I uh, give Bob, a, you know, a nice uh, handshake. I'm like, hey, Bob, uh, really cool to meet you. I'm going to throw a catcher. My name's Sean Casey. He's like, no problem. So I get back there. Boom, he throws one. I give it back to him like this. Kev knows, Kev knows it, right? And Tori Lovello says to me, he's like, Case, clean it up. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you're lobbing the ball to the greatest American hero of all time. He's like, you're showing him up. Quit showing him up. He's like, put something on it. So I'm like, all right, man. I'm, I'm so nervous now. I'm like, I can't believe it. I'm not showing up the greatest American hero of all time. So I'm like. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give him a little bit more. But at that moment, Kev, I realized I had a gift at that time in my career. I'm like, I can't throw. So, like, and if you have the yips, you can either go like this or you or can 100. back up and put, and put something on it. So I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. And Feller's like, you can tell he's like, hey, throw the ball, kid. But I'm like, I got to get 10 more feet to get, you know, to, to, to throw it accurately. So I back up. I zing it to Feller. He's got his glove like this. I'm like, and it's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. I'm like, what the heck's he doing? <laughs> he's like, Bob. Oh, not Bob. Bob Feller hit him right in the heart. He goes backwards, face plant. I'm like, oh, my God, I killed Bob Feller. I go flying up there. I'm like, oh, my God, Bob, are you okay? And he's in the grass just going, oh, oh. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm, sh I'm shaking him around. Like, I killed the greatest American hero of all time. Like, so next thing you know, EMT comes out of the stands. We're like, back up, son. Here comes the EMT. And next thing you know, I, all I can hear is, like, the rumbling of the crowd going, I was number 56. They're like, who's 56? Who's 56? And I'm like, oh, my God, I killed Bob Thar. Anyway, what happened was they slapped him around. They got him up. He was all good. Uh, they're like, what happened, Bob? What happened? He's like, oh, he's like, uh, the, the young laddie over here threw it a little too hard to me. And he goes, I was golfing the other day, and I caught the drive a little behind the ball. Must have jammed my shoulder. I just couldn't get it over there in time. And boom, that ball hit me right in the heart. So, oh. and Mike Hargrove says to me, I'm walking out, Rosie he goes, Casey goes, man, thank God you didn't kill Bill, Bob, Bob Feller. Because if you did, you definitely would have been released. Oh, like, thank God. So good. <laughs> That's so that's me. That's me laying on the ground imitating Bob Feller in one of the stories. <laughs> oh, that is excellent. <laughs> that is excellent. All right, Case. Before we let you go for the day, uh, give us a quick um, peruse around the room. Show us around the room. First of all, are you in a WWE chair? I am. I am. John Cena. Can you guys see that? John Cena in the Rock WrestleMania chair, guys. I went oh. there. I, I did. I flew to Miami. Went to that. I, I don't know. No, no, that was at MetLife. Right? I was in New York. It was awesome. Nice. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a uh, Tyson strawberry. I yeah. got this at a bat award. And Daryl and uh, there's my man Tim Gephardt. And there's my Leland and uh, and my son. What else I got here, guys? Oh, there's me and George Bush. Oh, and, uh, nice. opening before um before the opening of Miller Park. Here, here, here's a brawl. Here's a brawl I had. Remember that brawl with Coco Crisp? There's yeah. me right there. Three game suspension for dropping an elbow on the mound. I'm like, Bob, I didn't, Bob Watson, I didn't hit anybody. He was like, you went like this. I'm like, I dropped an elbow on the mound. I didn't hit anybody. Uh, anyway, Joe Mazeroski, I got who else? Oh, this is awesome right here, bro. This is great. Joe DiMaggio, oh. Marilyn Monroe signed checks. Monroe, Marilyn Monroe for a buck 55. Joe DiMaggio. Isn't that cool? Wow. So cool. So cool. And then I got some other stuff. There's my grandmother. Ruth Casey in the Cape Cod League. Kev, you ever play there? Brewster Whitecaps? Yeah. And I, and I got I Mike Trout's Mariners. cleats. Yeah, there you go. Mike Trout's cleats. And my daughter got me that right there. <laughs> 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 and then 
no, I got my Pearl Jam wall over here. Let's yeah, see. Just, hey, I just hit my foot. Um, <laughs> I got I got that right there. Pearl Jam. That's about it, guys. I'm a simple man. I'm like Leonard Skinner, simple man. <laughs> shine down version. <laughs> shine down. I love shine down. All right. Is is that your cardio for the day? Are you, are oh, wait, you a, wait a minute. Do you see that picture right there? What? Here, here's the bat. Here's the bat I used in that photo, guys. That's called a bomb to right field in the World Series. My bad. Your bad. Down the there's line. The bat. Old Hickory, how you doing? Full <laughs> Homer. Get to know me, guys. Zero hey. homers with the White Sox. I mean, Red Sox, though. How you doing? Here we go. Hey, listen, you could have been World Series MVP in 2006 if your pitchers could have filled a little bit. Yeah. I mean, one time, guys. One time. PFP, work on something. Throw it to third. Here we go. Case, you're the best storyteller, hands down. <laughs> uh, it's great seeing you. I hope you and your family stay healthy. And hopefully, at some point, we'll get to put our arms around each other and say hi again. Fellas, I've been following you guys. You're doing a great job. I love you. And, uh, <laughs> Kev, I'm coming to Austin here soon, man. Get the bed ready, brother. Get that jet ski ready. Tell your boys I'll be on there with Uncle Shawnee. Tell, tell Andrew I'm sending him some Tiff's Treat cookies right now. They're going to be real <laughs> All right. Everybody have a good, safe weekend. Tune in the next time on Monday on IT, presented to you by Toro.